Carrie from the Pittsburgh Home and Garden Show. I'm with Bob, who brought this. Tell me about it. How'd you acquire it? At a flea market in Maryland in 1980. And you liked it? Be, uh, the color, it looked very pretty. And you We're, bought a pair? I did buy a pair. Okay. And this particular piece is faux cloisonné. Faux is never a good term, Bob. But basically, what I want you to understand, if this were an original cloisonné piece, you would actually see the little tiny cloisons or stones set into an outline made of wire. And this actually has the levels. It looks like the roses are hovering over the actual red background. In a true piece of cloisonné, they wouldn't be hovering. They'd all be on the same element or the same level. So that's why your piece, unlike a true piece of cloisonné, it's only worth 125. Thanks for bringing it, though. Thank you. Come on in here, Eileen. Thank you. How are you doing? Real Look good. what you've got. <laughs> if you were going to vote in the McKinley election, mm -hmm. they might give you this particular political collectible. It's a piece of soap. How about it? How'd you acquire it? It was my grandmother's. Grandmother's. Mm -hmm. And she's born in 1896. Yes. And it was a gift to Little Hazel. It says it right on the little tag. McKinley, it says, my papa would vote for McKinley. And this is a great political collectible. Value $275 in a presidential election year. Thanks for bringing Excellent. it in. Nice to see. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, come on in here. Come on, Beth and Stan. Let's go. Beth. Hi. Beth has this piece, which is a Waltham Ladies Watch. How did you acquire it? My mother-in-law gave it to me. Right. It is tricolor gold, or three types of gold. You can see the yellow gold, the white gold, the rose gold. And this is a tricolor gold piece. It dates to the early years of the 20th century. You can tell by the blue steel handles, the porcelain face. Made near Boston, Massachusetts. Value on it about $400 to $600 retail. And Bob, look what you've got. You've got a piece of... This is Stan, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Stan, you've got a piece of Trafari costume jewelry. Have you worn this recently? No, not Come really. Come on, let's try it. <laughs> let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's nice. Very right? <laughs> Stan, very attractive. You can tell these particular pieces. Costume jewelry has a big market. People are looking for costume jewelry now. A couple things to look for. The simplest thing, the Trafari mark. It's going to say Trafari. Bold and beautiful, right there. This particular piece, which is frosted gold filled, not solid gold, about $400. How did you get it, Mom? Well, she gifted it to me, I think to give it to somebody else someday. Okay, but you figured you'd wear it. Yeah, that's right. Thanks, Thanks Stan. Thanks okay. to Eileen and Bob and Stan and Beth for showing us some of their valuables.